Waiting for my steak to rest. Couldn't really decide what to have, so I went with a wine I bought the other day. And from the front of the label, really can't tell much, except that it's from the Douro, Douro region of Portugal. And the blend is, so Portugal's got a lot of indigenous grapes. So I'm gonna guess this is Tariga Nacional, which it is, Tariga Franca, Tinta Roriz, which is also in Tempranillo, Tinta Baracoa, Bora, yeah, Bar Baraca, and I think those are the four. Mostly temper the Tariga Nacional 60%, which is typically what you'll see out of Portugal. So this was $37 to $38. It was recommended with a store shelf talker as a pick by one of the people that works there. And it had a wax top, which I can't stand wax tops. They look great, but gosh, are they just a pain to get off. So let's see how this wine is. I think I also saw that this was in Wine Spectator, maybe. Not sure. I forget. I took a picture of it as a wine that looked intriguing just from the from the write-up. Everyone's got a different palette. I just popped and poured. It does look extremely dark. I always say that Portugal is a wonderful place for value, for quality and value, but $38 really doesn't work in that regard. So, I'm hoping this is pretty good. I'm hoping it goes well with the steak. That it looks very large. 14%. It looks like a very big wine. I feel like I could smell the fruit from here. I would never... I guess not never, but I would have a hard time ever picking out a Portuguese red in a lineup. Just... I don't have that skill set to know Portuguese. Really dark, dark fruit aromas. Overripe dark fruit aromas. Like ripe dark fruit, not overripe, but dark, dark blackberry, uh, ripe blackberry. Definitely like a ripe cherry. It smells great. It, it has a very, yeah, very appealing nose. Probably a little heavy on the, heavier on the fruit aromas than anything else. From what I can tell, that's not always a bad thing. Sometimes the delicious factor is just all you want out of a wine. It's heavier looking than it is on the on the palate. More medium, medium, medium plus on the body. Medium plus on the finish. Acidity is medium, medium minus. There's some baking spice. Some ripe red fruit on the palate. A little less of the dark fruit. It's like dark fruit and then ripe red fruit. I got a little piece of cork in there. I think it's a good wine. I don't think it's $38 good. Might need to open up. What's the vintage on this? 2014. It's got some age on it. On that, that it's got some spice, like definitely baking spice. And a little bit of a white pepper, white pepper, and like almost like a, a cinnamon and a clove. Yeah, cinnamon and a clove, like a pumpkin pie spice, a little bit, not sweet. But just those spices are coming out. A little bit of those baking spices, for sure. Get the cork out. 
Tannins are medium. Nice wine. Probably not worth $38. Glad I'm trying it. I haven't had a Portuguese red in a while. Simbolo is what it's called. So Simbolo. I don't know what else much to say about it. I think it's going to need to open up a little bit. I'll almost definitely do an update as it opens up. See how it pairs with the with the steak. See how it pairs maybe with cheese. Maybe see how it is tomorrow. I have not decided on something to eat for tomorrow, so we'll we'll see. A little drying on the finish. Nothing to, nothing to change there. Solid wine, good wine, and we'll see how it evolves tonight and see maybe how it is tomorrow. I don't have much else to say. Definitely more on the fruit side, but yeah, that's it. I feel like half speechless on this, but I feel like it's still a little bit, being a little shy still, needs to open up a little bit more. I don't have enough experience with Portuguese varietals. I've had a number, I've had more than a number, but to compare it to others, it's it's very difficult. The Crisia made by a PNS is... Probably my favorite, Portuguese Red, and that's in the, I think, $70 range. I used to get it for about $50, now it's gone up to about $70. I have one, I think it's a little bit young still to try. That one just sort of reminds me more of a Bordeaux than, than this does. Okay. That's it for now. Update this one. See how it does with steak and cheese. Have a good night.